and welcome back to the home of the Mark II PV Power Router. This is hopefully the first of two videos which I'll be shooting today, uh, the idea of which is to uh, check for the first time how well um, Mark II uh, PV Router can balance import and export um, when running on each of the two platforms that it normally runs on. Uh, the first of these platforms is an Emon TX, and here is one uh, which I've just uh, finished building and putting uh, in a box. So this is a working system and we'll be seeing a little bit more of this in the second of the videos and alongside it, um, competing as it were, we'll be seeing um, um, an instance of the other uh, variant which is my own uh, design of hardware with one of Rich's PCBs. So my version has um, a single voltage reference which is shared and buffered. Um, the Emon TX as we have here um, as we know has um, independent references, one for each of the uh, input sensors. Um, never really had the chance to compare how well they work. Uh, but this piece of kit is the, um, the trick to it. This is a three phase meter and essentially it's like three meters all on the same spindle. There are three sets of current and voltage coils and they uh, measure the power that's flowing through and turn the, um, turn the shaft accordingly. Um, I've done a little diagram here of how it's connected up. Uh, I'm not sure how well this will show on the camera. Perhaps if you pause the film and have a look at it, it might make sense, but uh, I'll scan it and put it on the um, website as well. So it's, um, it's connected up in a rather unconventional way. You've got an input and an output for each of the current uh, lines and also for the, each of the live three phases and the neutral, I should say. Uh, there's also some connections for the voltage coils, and I've wired all these up together as it shows on the diagram. So any power that's taken by the voltage coils is supplied by um, just the first feed. So as far as I can tell, this is a fair test. And um, Essentially, when I put on uh, the heater to the right, which is the one I'm going to be simulating my PV with, um, it gets its power through um, the upper coil, which where the current I've shown going from uh, right to left, which will drive the disc one way. And then depending on which of the switches are turned on on the extreme left, either of them should bring um, the same amount of current back through one or both of the other coils. Um, and so the idea is that the meter will stay um, motionless while the heater is on. So we're all in and live. We've just got one connection to the mains. Uh, somewhere through there it is on. And if we have a look at the disc, the disc um, shouldn't be doing very much at the moment because we haven't got either of the heaters um, pulling power. That's because this switch is off and that switch is off, they being those two switches through there. So if I put one of the switches on, um, this is my heater, um, which is only when it gets the feed does the light go on. So if I put the lower the switches on, we should get some red on the LEDs. They have gone red. I'm struggling with um, getting enough shading today to demonstrate this, but the lights have gone on. And we now have a look at what the uh, meter is doing. The meter is drifting a little bit from uh, left to right. I should have mounted a, a better system. I can't hold this very steady, but there's a, a number 20 just peering out there. So we are seeing a little bit of drift. That's with just one switch on and the other switch off. If I now put the second switch on, so now we've got current coming back along um, both of the lower routes. So exactly half the current should be in the middle coil and exactly half should be in the lower coil and the full amount should be in the upper coil. Um, but all the power should balance. And um, we see this number 20 is still drifting. So we do have a little bit of inherent drift in the system. So whatever uh, results we get this evening, we are going to need to um, recognize that there is some inherent drift in the system. I don't know why. You can adjust these um, three phase meters. This is a 1985 one. I've never tried to adjust it. I think if I were to adjust it, it would probably go worse. But it could be that um, if you set a decent current through them, you should be able to adjust them a little bit better. Uh, just to demonstrate that um, what really is happening is indeed the case, I've got this second heater here, and if I were to switch that one on, then as you can see, current only gets pulled for that heater through the upper of the coils. Uh, it gets back via an alternative route, it doesn't go via the lower coils. 
So if I put this heater on to say one kilowatt, which is down there, now the meter is moving substantially. If I were to put on um, three kilowatts, we now see um, a substantial movement. So that's what three kilowatts um, looks like, just pulling this along through one coil. If I switch both of these off again, then we've just got two kilowatts, but it's going um, in a shared way through the uh, meter. So we're only seeing a very small amount of drift. So that's the inherent drift in the system. Um, what I'll be doing later on is I'll be having um, each of the Mark II routers in one of those two lower coils. So I'll be generating PV along the upper coil and then I'll be able to switch between um, the lower two so we can really get a good comparison. And then I suppose I could switch them um, between the lower two coils so as um, that will hopefully take out um, the little bit of offset which we can see is present uh, in the system. So if I switch off um, both of these switches on the right hand side here, now the heater is no longer taking coil, uh, taking power because both the switches are open and this should have stayed put. This should, this should now stop drifting. And it's, it's pretty good. There's nothing as far as I can see that's that mechanically stops the um, dial from drifting around when there's no current um, other than eddy currents. I don't think there's any mechanical stop that, that runs in. Um, but anyway, that's no power. Switch on one of them. And this is where we saw a very slight drift from left to right. So with these results in mind, I'll sign off for now and uh, look forward to um, shooting the second part of this in due course. Cheers for now.